Okay. So first and foremost, um, I'm tapping into an energy that has a lot to do with kind of being private or secretive. And also, I was getting a message about this is time for the collective to trust in their selves. So let's tap in. Let's start with a crystal activation. Okay. And then we'll tap in. Respect to the Most High Mother and Father. So I just want to let you all know that titles may be changing at this time. Some of you could be called to call yourself something different or you're feeling like you're something different at this point in time. Chris Patayo. Okay, so this is the crystal. So this deep colored stone comes from the serpentine group of stones. It is especially useful to attract and manifest your needs. Known to clear the heart chakra, it will help you inject energy into your being. You will be filled with energy and positivity. So, you know, these are the vibes that we need to be taking on, okay? Definitely tapping into the heart chakra energy, okay? So some of you are looking to manifest and attract some of your basic needs is what I'm feeling. Um, you know, this is, you know, sometimes in order to trust yourself, you have to face what your fear is, okay? You know, over the last couple of months, we've been dealing with this mother energy. Um, it's like um, the mother wound energy, okay? So some of you may have been dealing with some karmic feminine energy, all right? Um, you may have find that the feminine energies were at war within oneself and with each other, okay? So cancer represents the mother energy. And from what I understand, with the planetary alignments that's been taking place over the last few months is that Mars has been in Cancer or somewhat heavily associated with Cancer. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows. But um, Cancer is very much a private sign, a very secretive sign, very similar to Scorpio, okay? Um, you know, depending on what aspect or aspect of cancer that we're looking at. So we're looking at, let's look at the lower side of cancer. When we have Mars and cancer, we're kind of looking at a disruption, okay? A war energy that starts to disrupt the, the mother energy and may have uh, shown sides of her. <clears throat> and, and, you know, this is still a current energy that's going to show sides of her. Why are they saying that are apocalyptic? But that may be very chaotic or the Plutonian energy where that cancer energy, that water energy just may be bubbling over so much that it's causing evaporation, you know, vaporizing things, all right? So stop pushing against what is, align with it and move on. So exactly, this cancer and this Mars energy it, it's not really sequenced at an angle where it's, it's aligned. So the forces are coming against one another. So the mother energy or the feminine energy is having to look at oneself through others, you know what I mean, through her creation, okay, and, and, and being faced and having a mirror put to it, you know, because Mars is there. Mars wants you to face things, right, take things head on. And it's like cancer is not really a facing energy, a head-on energy. Cancer is more of a nurturing, but not one who wants to delve one's secrets. Like, let's look at it in this the Kamala situation where they're saying she doesn't tell what her plan is, okay? So let's look at it in a mother energy, in a feminine energy. A lot of the times your mother will tell you don't worry about um, what I'm doing or how I'm doing it. 
just just know that it's going to get done. And you know it's going to get done because mama always gets it done. You know, I don't care about these policies. Not that, let's not say she don't care about the policies, but I ain't really worried about what these policies are saying. You know what I'm saying? What those policies say because mama knows that those policies really don't mean nothing to her because, <laughs> and I'm not saying this speaking for nobody's campaign or nothing, but, you know, just essentially as a mother, as I tell my kids, don't tread in waters that you're not prepared to deal with. You, you know what I mean? Like, don't worry about what these policies are because I made them. These policies are mine, so I'm going to fix them, transform them, maneuver them, or I'm going to override them because that's what's been happening anyway. So now, you know, you know, mama's here to override things. You know what I mean? But when you're dealing with Mar Mars, right, it's clashing. It's like, mama's like, oh, y'all want to go to war with mama? Like, <laughs> which essentially is going to war with herself because it is of the creation. All right, so listen to your body. So basically, listen to mama. Listen to your feminine energy, okay? And do what it do what it's asking you to do. See, you may be asked to do things right now from people, yourself, the universe, God, or whatever that is just quite out of the ordinary. And that's because the war is dying down. Mama ain't trying to be at war for her children, but she do have to cleanse. She do have to, she do have to set a precedence, precedence, and she do have to level things out, and things do have to go, okay? They're saying euthanization, I don't know, but what, what, what is really is being said is, if mama made it, mama will take it, I guess, okay? So let's let's get an ancestor quick message on that, okay? So ancestors, what else? What, what would you like us to know about uh, this message that you just sent through to me? You know, atonement, cleaning up, cleaning up these energies. You know, some of you are going to be faced to 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 really face your karmic energies or the mother wounds. Some of you have not healed all the way, and that's okay because healing is evolving, but some of you really need to just, sometimes you got to be, sometimes you just got to go face it. Some of y'all are going to have to go face those wounds, okay? So you can let it beat you down, so you can understand what it is, okay? And that's the, the karmic thing, all right? Altar of earth, limitless prosperity. Mother knows that she has limitless prosperity. And she and, and through her prosperity is through her children. So through us, she knows that she's going to be able to fulfill whatever it is that needs to be fulfilled. And those who, her children who are not willing to align with her, she knows that she will reproduce them. She will, you know what I'm saying, reproduce them and use them as nourishment for the flock. Chiefess, strength tested. So that's what's been going on. The strength of the mother, the strength of the divine feminine has been tested. <laughs> and she just wants to speak with her aura. She just wants to speak with just doing. She's not a man of words. He just shows you. So, with that said, hopefully you got something from it. <laughs> if not, it's cool. But I'm ashamed.